Hello and welcome back once again ladies and gentlemen for your daily dose of Minecraft entertainment. As you can see here I've already crafted a tunnel way here underneath the ground and I've hit a bit of a snag here. We actually have some kind of different colored powder stuff. Uh, I've already mined it so I'm just going to head back now and put some stuff in my box and I'll see you guys topside and I'll show you everything I've got from this nice long tunnel way I've built here. Alright, well here we go. Of course we got some more appetite to go with what we had already. Of course we got a good amount of tin. We got 34 right here in the whole stack. Uh, redefined, well refined ore, excuse me. That's pretty much from iron. All you did, it's like twice melted iron basically. Nothing too fancy there, so don't think it's, you know, something special you have to mine up. That is basically it took nine pieces of the actual iron and re-smelted it again. So I'm going to use that for a machine box at some point. Here is 50 pieces of copper. I found plenty of copper down there. Silver, I don't know what silver is for. I think it's a separate add-on that, you know, has its own need. I don't know what it's used for, like I said. Of course, we got some gold. Some lapis. We got 56 pieces of it, so a fairly good amount of it was down there. 10 ruby, once again, not sure what ruby is really used for. It's one of those new things I haven't figured out. Redstone, we're going to need a lot of redstone. Luckily, I was able to run into a stack and a little extra down there. Here's that blue powder I was talking about at the beginning of the video. Uh, Nicolite, I think it's called. I, I may be saying it right. But yeah, I don't know what this is for. Something totally brand new. I got a stack and a little extra, just like the redstone. And emerald. I've heard very little about emerald, but I found 10 of them down here. I hear it's quite rare, more rare than diamond, actually. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I don't know what expansion pack that may be from. And, of course, we have our uranium ore. But I don't think we'll be using that anytime soon, because I'm a long way off from nuclear reactors. Now, I made the steam engine. This isn't part of in industrial craft. This is actually a part of build craft. So, it has its own separate purpose. It's not really that difficult to make, basically making stone gears and such. So, Buildcraft focuses more around like engines for like mining and, and building quarry engines and such. And at some point I'm hoping to be able to show you how I do that. But right about now, it's not much going on. Of course we have our, our typical stuff. We have plenty of cobblestone, so I may just sell that back to the villagers for some, for some currency. Of course, we have a little bit more coal, some flint, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is actually go ahead and use this refined iron. I want to create a generator. Okay, well, I don't know why I keep going to the stove. So first things first, I'm going to create a, what is called a machine block. Going to need that. Then I'm going to need a rechargeable battery which is going to involve some tin and some actual copper wire I have to make. I will show you how that gets done. Okay, three copper, which we will put... I did it again. Here we go, three copper and some rubber. This will give us some copper wiring. There we go. Six copper wiring. Oh, we got an achievement for it, energy flow. Okay, so what we will do next, I, well, we need the redstone for the rechargeable battery. Okay, just throw the redstone on the floor, why not? Here we go. Alright, two tin on the side, some redstone and a copper wiring up top. And of course, I'm missing something here. I'll have to go back and uh, recheck my recipe guide to make sure I'm doing it correctly. Alright, well, I found out what I was doing wrong. I was missing a redstone. So somebody was probably out there watching going, Wait a minute, you, you're doing it wrong. You need one more redstone. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do it this time. And we'll get it right. So we'll put tin on the side. Of course, our copper wire up top and our two redstone. And there's our rechargeable battery. Awesome. So we're going to need a rechargeable battery. And let me uh, 
just take a quick double peek to see what else we need. I'm actually have the wiki open up on another screen on the side of the computer, so don't think I'm like dozing off or anything. I'm trying to take a quick peek to make sure everything's correct. Okay, I think we have everything correct now. There's actually two variations to this actual recipe. So what we will do is actually this. We'll put the furnace down there. It's a regular stone furnace, the machine block, followed by a rechargeable battery. And there it is. We have suitable power now. There's our generator. So what I think I will do, we will do this. Generator will go here. There we go. Okay, next up, we will throw some coal in there. I don't want to throw a whole bunch of coal, but we'll just throw two pieces. There we go. Heck, as a matter of, you know what, we may not even need to put two pieces. I think one piece may actually fill it all the way up. So there we have it, industrial craft at its finest. We now have a generator generating power for our first appliance. I think it may have actually gone to full power on one piece. I mean, a generator is not something we'll use all the time. Of course, we'll get bigger and better things. But, you know, for right now, it's a start. So the next thing we're going to wind up focusing on will wind up being a macerator. And that's going to actually double our resource output. And by resource, I mean our iron and, you know, basically our ores. We can put the ores in. It'll grind it up to a powder and it'll actually spit it out. And, the pa once, and once the powder gets spit out, it'll actually wind up turning into one powder actually turns into two bars. So we'll turn one powder of iron into two iron bars. So I mean it's actually a great way to double the resources. So with that, you know, let me go double check one more time and we'll go from there. Alright, well after taking a look at how this is done, this really ain't won't be that hard. So basically once I get out of here, there we go. We're going to need roughly eight, probably about at least eight more of these iron ingots. We're going to have to refine these because we're going to have to make another box. And I will show you how it gets refined. Okay, well, first of all, we'll just throw, I'll throw five pallets in there. I'll pull out one coal as a safeguard. Basically, we're going to turn this iron ingot into refined iron, and that's roughly how it works. You know, as a matter of fact, I'm not even going to throw that coal in there. If I run out of wooden pa uh, planks, I'm just going to throw a couple more wooden planks in there because, as you can see, i got plenty of them left over. It's cheap, it's efficient, it's, it's what I'll do for now. So there's our refined iron. We're spitting out three of them right now. And of course, once we get an electric furnace, this whole process gets sped up ridiculously. But it'll be a lot easier to make an electric furnace once we have our macerator to double our ores. Okay, so two more planks should roughly get us to where we have to go. So what we're going to create next is going to be called an electric circuit. And speaking of which, I'm going to need, okay, there we go, I'm going to need more wiring. So while that's still cooking, let's throw a couple more bars with our rubber. We just have just enough rubber, so I'm going to have to go out and harvest more from the trees. Okay, we have, there we go. Never mind, because I'm going to have to actually get two more. Okay, let me see. It should be this way. Then we'll have two redstone on the side. And our already refined iron is going to go here. Okay, there we go. And that's your electric circuit. And this is going to be pretty much all your components for your machines. You'll need at least an electric circuit. 
or in some advanced cases later on down the road you'll need something called an advanced electric circuit or something along those lines and that's going to be pretty much involved in using glowstone so once we get to it I'll gladly show it but for right now it is what it is okay there's our eight iron it's done looks like we didn't need those two planks after all so let me take a gander we are going to need some flint three flint which is very good we will need three flint I believe a couple of cobblestone as well so let's see this is just me double checking where is it at okay we have our machine well, we don't have our machine block yet we're going to need to make our machine block silly me okay there's our machine block this is how it gets done our circuit our machine block three flint up top and then we'll have two cobblestone on the side and there we have it there's our macerator double trouble there we go another achievement how awesome is this so you're literally seeing how the machines are getting made and I want to move this stove I don't like the placement of the stove I'm gonna keep my macerator right next to my generator for obvious purposes henceforth we will move the furnace over to the side mm, you know what I'll just move it right there I think it's nice and easy right next to the chest so we don't really have anything to demonstrate with the macerator I mean we could do cobblestone I could easily show you how it turns cobblestone into sand and this is pretty cool it's very noisy as you can tell but this is how we'll turn a stack of cobblestone into a stack of sand and from there we can turn that into a stack of glass there we go there's our sand as that noisy thing goes to work and as you can see this is eating up a lot of energy so what's going to be needed is going to be some coal I'll throw a couple stacks in there I don't think I'm gonna leave all this in here and I don't think I'm gonna leave that in there either you want to be efficient how you do this because if you're not efficient it will waste a lot of your energy and that's basically what I'm trying to avoid here I'll leave one in there but I don't want to waste it all like I said okay tin we don't need okay we're looking pretty good and at some point we'll create something called a bat box which will actually help pull a lot of energy it won't waste it but for right now we only got a macerator so it's not anything major unfortunately for me I done smelted a lot of my 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 ores so in the future for future reference when it comes comes down to it I have your copper iron and all I'm just gonna go ahead and smelt them that way I'll put them in the macerator I'll get double my resources cuz I mean unfortunately especially with iron that's ultimately what you're gonna have to do iron the spawning of irons really been cut back with the addition of copper and tin and other, all these other ones so using the macerator becomes all that more important we're almost down I will throw another one of those in we'll throw a couple of wood planks in there keep it going you know what I'm out I'll take a plank off we'll have seven sand I'll throw a couple planks in there and then we'll just make some glass because why not once that finishes I'll make sure the battery goes back to full power Then, of course I'll just smelt my my sand in the glass 
There we go, that's done. Okay, get cracking with that. We'll get started with that. Oh, okay. One more plank to fill it up. As you can see, we have the little red lightning thingy here. It's red, that means that it is getting power. So that at least it gives us a little signal knowing that it gets power. It's not running, so it's not using anything. Of course, our generator is still at full again. And here we go, pumping out some glass over here. So it's pretty neat how it all works out. And we can do a ton of different stuff. We have to make an electric furnace, an extractor. An extractor is actually what I really want to do next. Because we can take the extractor and use that to get all this rubber out of this rubber wood we have. 34 pieces of rubber wood. So, yeah, that's just chilling. We're going to put that to some use. It's going to require four taps. So, we'll make the taps here. Four. By the way, when you use these taps, they have to be unused. So, basically like this. They're brand new. They have to be a part of it. Okay, so we're going to have... Four taps, nine more, well, eight more, technically. All right, come on. There we go. I'll just throw a bunch of wood in there. I don't really need it. Give me that. Now, I just wasted resources. Don't mind me on that one. Okay, so we have our eight cooking for another box. We will make the box with our tap, then we'll go back and make another circuit. Alright, so we have our components. The next step is going to be to actually make the extractor itself. So we'll use our four taps off to the side. We properly place them. Of course, our machine block, as always, will go up top. And there we go. So here is our extractor. There we go, super tree tap. So where will we put this? I know, we will put this right next to the actual macerator. And there we go. Okay, we still got full power. They will demonstrate how this will work. We will insert rubber wood that I haven't even been using. And I have a problem. Okay, now let me show you how to handle this problem. It's not very hard. It's not hand hard to do, basically. We will do a little digging. Do, do, do. We're going to do a little underwiring. There we go. We're going to install wiring here, here, and there. And there we have it. Now, of course, we will hide it so nobody can see it. And there we go. You won't even know there's wiring underneath there. How about that? As our extractor quickly goes to work, giving us more rubber. Yes, sir. So it's pretty neat. And to be honest, I'm actually kind of surprised because I didn't think I was going to have enough resources in this actual episode to be able to do this. So it's pretty cool it actually worked out like that. Now of course I'm going to have to go back and actually get more iron because as you can see I am fresh out. So that won't be a problem. We'll have to go back to the mine shaft and actually do some more searching. We'll branch out. Hopefully we can find some diamond. I would love to see if I can do this with diamond. Anytime we can turn one diamond into two. Hey, why not? That's awesome. Oh, you know, I actually had a spare tree tap I could have used, actually. Oh, well. It is what it is. So, I'll just make sure everything is here. Nice and, say, uh, nice and secure, anyway. And we'll wait for this tree tap to get done. Well, all right, there we go. After the tree was all generated down, there we got 35 rubber out of it. And I even went back and put three pieces of coal into the actual macerator and got coal dust. Now later on I'll show you how I can use that to actually get something better that generates energy. Something a little bit more green, so to say. 
So at least we got that done. Now we're going to wind up needing more iron, though, before we do anything else, because we have jack nothing. Well, the generator's fully charged. I made sure to that. Everything else is on, but there's nothing else much used. So, let's go back to the actual mine shaft. And, whoa, whoa, whoa. Personal space. Stupid spider. Okay, let's go back and try to get some more resources. Oh, look, they left a partly chopped tree over here. I guess it'll be up to me to uh, put this poor thing out of its misery. I love the timber mod. It makes things so much easier. Marked off my little entrance way to the actual mine area. If we can find a safe spot to go down. Ah, yes, here we go. By the way, if you're wondering what all this white stuff around here is, that is actually marble. Yes, I actually have it in my house as a marble flooring. Looks rather decorative, so I figured, why not? If I'm going to live into a, a cobblestone house, I might as well have some marble flooring. As you can see, I have my little table down here in the ground. Should I need to uh, craft any tools or anything. So, yeah, nothing out of the usual. I still build my shaft this way. Going all the way down to the 12th level, of course, making sure I get there. And with this mod, having that little mini-map up on the corner tells me, you know, what coordinates and what level I'm at. That is pretty freaking sweet. I love it. Now, of course, with the Buildcraft mod, there are, like I said earlier, there are some things you can build, some engines that will actually do the digging for you. I would love to be able to do that, but unfortunately right now, a lot of it requires iron, which I obviously don't have. Oh, okay, well, here's some copper up here. I can pick this with a stone axe. So I will get these whole blocks... Which I'll probably show you in the next episode, how to use the macerator to turn these clumps of ore into actual ore dust. Wait a minute. I wanted to put that on my hotbar so I can close the gap. I do not need gaps for potential monsters to spawn. Okay, I do have an iron pickaxe on me, so I will equip that. We're going to get more of this dust. It is pretty prevalent down here. I don't know what it's used for yet, but I will have plenty of it. Oh, crap. Okay, so we have a layer of lava down here. We'll have to block that off. That is going to be problematic. Okay, well, at least it's not there. But yeah, we are going to have plenty of this dust. Probably enough to make almost two stacks of Nicolite. I don't know if that's how it's said, but that's what I'm calling it for now. Wait a minute. There we go. There's my stone axe. Oh, look. Oh, just in time to see that right there. Yeah, I don't want to wind up losing... Losing my actual iron ore. Oh, yeah, I don't want to lose that. Okay, we are going to have to be very careful in how we do this. There we go. Of course, the game has to make it interesting. Unfortunately for me, I don't have any buckets of water. I spent all my iron ore on other things. So, somewhere along the line, we are going to have to craft a bucket to get this whole lava situation taken care of. But at least we're going to have plenty of iron here, so at least we can put this in the eviscerator and double our output. How awesome will that be? Can't wait for that. So that's roughly 16 iron bars I'd be looking at right there. Isn't that awesome? Same thing with this, whatever this is. I think it's silver. No, it's tin. Okay. Silver and tin look so much alike, that's the problem. You can hardly tell. What is this? Okay, we have gold over here. I haven't figured out what gold, what purpose gold serves in this new, new pack. I will at some point. But for now, I have no clue. But I do know I'll have to switch over to my iron pickaxe to get this gold. Ah, yes. More, more, more. 
And this time I'll be able to put it into the macerator. So of course we'll double our output of gold. Whatever purpose it may serve, I don't know, like I stated. But we'll find out. Okay. Plug the hole. I'm so curious as to find out where this all leads, but I don't want to get too much uses out of my, my iron pickaxe trying to conserve it. Now watch, there's probably diamonds over there and I can't get to it. That would be so annoying if it popped up to be that way. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to leave it at that, I guess, because I don't want to dig too far and then wind up digging into something I can't handle. Of course, we have more. I really wish I had a bucket with water. I'm sure this would probably unveil something really awesome. But at least the lava pathway here ends. There's some more redstone. Yes, I will need more of that. I'm not going to block this pathway because at some point I want to explore that. I'm pretty sure you're going to find some diamond around there. And yeah, I am so going to get into that diamond. Of course, we will take advantage of the redstone as usual. I wish I had the redstone from my other series because now would be a really good time. It seems like with this Technic pack, redstone has so many more uses and so, you know, it's just so needed. Unfortunately, I didn't really get my money's worth or my efforts worth out of the redstone I got. Okay, could this be tin? Could this be silver? They're the same shade, so it's so hard to tell. Okay, more tin. Haven't seen any diamond yet, but I've seen so much new stuff, it's not even funny. Okay, nothing really here. Just more dirt. Playing with more dirt. I've got plenty of stone pickaxes, so it should be pretty good. This one can break. I think there's roughly at least three more in my backpack. Is this more tin? Uh, yes, it's more tin. Cover you up. Torch, please. Then we will carry on. And that's the thing with this Technic pack that it's really going to stress is a little bit more conservation. Where in regular Minecraft, you pretty much knew there was going to be iron ore somewhere. It was more plentiful. Here, not so much. So, macerator. That is the key word. What are we going to run into next? That is what I really want to know. Hopefully some diamond. I don't know if Diamond had its output changed with the Technic Pack. It may have, and I haven't seen. Not sure. Okay, starting to get dark. Torch me. Uh, we will see. I'll, that's something I'll have to investigate on the wiki. To see if it actually had its output changed. I don't even know what Diamond's... I mean, uh, excuse me. I don't even know what Emerald's used for. I thought it was used for trading, but I could be wrong. See, we come up with more of that blue, that teal stuff. This, this powder, nickelite. What is nickelite? What is your purpose? And how important are you? Okay, let's press on and see what else we can find. Hopefully, something. Maybe a pathway. Maybe some diamonds. No, I think the diamonds are way back there. In a place where I should have walked, but I can't because I have no water bucket. Okay, a couple more cobblestone. Oh, we found some coal. That is definitely needed. That is something else that got cut back, I've noticed as well. You don't see as much coal. There's some lapis. Really still haven't found a use for lapis, so it's okay. But I'm going to stock up on it just in case because I think there's uses in build craft for like mm, for for markers and such. That's what I'm looking for. 
So with the markers, you can make your quarries bigger and such. Yeah, that's something I I, I want to do. Once you get the quarries, I think it's pretty safe to say it gets a little bit easier. But it's going to take a whole lot of resources. Okay, so we've tapped that out. Another torch. Torch, please. They're going a little bit further. But of course, we'll get to some point where we'll just basically go back and branch off in the little tiny sections. Kind of like we did with the, the previous one. And we'll go from there. Okay, so we got more redstone. Redstone is a good thing. Not much going here. Maybe we can press on. There we go. There's some more iron. That is definitely what's needed. Looks like we got a nice little chunk. There is more of that nickelite. That is going to irk me. I'm going to have to find out what that's all about. Okay, a couple more chunks. Looks like we got a nice sized vein here. Which is pretty awesome. We can go ahead and convert that into some greatness. Might as well grab this redstone while we're here. Get out of here. I don't need any more cobblestone. At least there's no lava here to destroy the redstone. Good, good. Just got to be careful because I don't want to fall into any pits. Now it'd be a really sucky time to wind up dying after I got all this stuff. Okay, there we go. Going to need more torches. Here. Not only is it going to lead the way, but it's also... I didn't want to use that. It's also to prevent monsters from spawning. That's why it may seem like I've gotten a lot of torches placed. Okay, there's some more tin. Or, I mean, copper, excuse me. That's why I place so many torches. I do not need monsters spawning in my... My, uh... My shafts. Okay, more Nicolite. I'm not going to get over needy with this stuff because we're already coming up on a stack of 60 almost got a full stack of it and as you can see this stuff just goes on and on uh oh well that, no wait a minute I have one more stone pick there we go so I think we'll finish this off and then we'll call this a video once this pick breaks It'll give me a time to get situated with some more picks, plus I'll go back and dump these resources. And, you know, we'll get ready for the next video in which I hope we can create some more cool stuff. I'll even get to show you how the macerator works. Okay, torch please. What is this? What are you? More tin. Of course, we can double our tin right there. How are we doing on redstone? We're probably going to need a whole new stack of redstone. Okay, let's get the iron pickaxe out. And we'll hit this redstone. Sounds like we got some type of fluid around here. That may be a bad thing. Maybe some water somewhere? Hopefully we do not run into said liquids. We do not need the shaft to get flooded out. Okay, those wolves are starting to get very annoying. That other growling you hear is actually werewolves. The Technic Pack does have werewolves in it. I don't know which expansion has that. I do know those things are freaking tough. They take a ton of hits. They do drop some good stuff, but they take a ton of hits. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, crap. I think that may be trouble. Oh, crap. Werewolf. Werewolf. Okay. That is not good. Stay back. Stay back. Oh, do not come near me. Do not come near me. Do not come near me. Oh, crap. I think I have another sword in here. There we go. Time to fight for your life. Stay back, you stupid thing. Like I said, they take a ton of hits, and this is with a stone sword. 
Whoa, okay. Personal space. Please give me personal space. These things will despawn once the day comes around. You'll see random NPCs walking around with tattered clothes. That's how you know they were werewolves at night. Okay, so what was that? He, like, just randomly spawned. Dude was down here in a random place. Okay. So he dropped two items. A stone shovel. And... And, and, and... An iron hoe. Okay, well that doesn't do me any good. Let's light this place up before we have any more visitors in here. Really, I don't need any more monsters spawning. At least our shaft finally came to an end. It wasn't a very pleasant end, but... As you can see, we have all kind of stuff around here. This should prevent any monsters from spawning, I hope. I hope. No guarantees. Okay, we might as well just clear this out. There we go. Okay, torch here. And then torch here. At least we know where it comes to. This looks like silver, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong so far. No, I'm right. This is silver. So what are we going to have to ditch for the silver? Maybe the stone shovel. I've got... No, I don't have an extra stone shovel. Wonderful. Get rid of the dirt. The dirt serves no purpose. May as well take advantage of the fact we have some silver. And like I said, at some point, it will have a use. Is this tin or silver? This looks like tin. What do you know? I'm getting better at identifying my ores. Don't want to fall any pit traps. Okay, so we're going to double this out. We're going to double this amount of ore for 10. So we're looking at roughly, what? 36? At least bars? I don't know. I'm doing the math off the top of my head. I'm not, like, really thinking about it. So... Definitely grab this iron ore. We know we can double that. Okay, 44 bars. That is awesome. And, yeah... Oh, dude, that's diamond over there. I gotta go. I gotta get this. I may be inviting danger into the area. But you don't understand. I have to get this diamond. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Oh, yeah, we've got all kind of good stuff up here. There's some more ruby. That's what the ruby looks like in its whole form before it's unbroken. Oh, wow. Oh, there's some more uranium. Looks like more tin or copper or whatever. Oh, we have an exit. This may or may not be a good thing. I'm trying to keep this somewhat... Okay, there's some more emerald up here. Wow. Oh, wow. This is becoming into a big cave. Uh, don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. I don't want to happen to die somewhere and lose all my stuff. I thought I saw light somewhere. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Just to let you all know, I don't have any type of armor, so I can't really engage in any kind of heavy combat. Okay, hopefully he gets lost back there somewhere. I just want the diamond. Everything else, I can always come back and get later. Just give me the diamond. Okay, he's not coming. Good. Yes, sir. Give me that diamond. That sweet, sweet diamond. Okay, what else do we have to drop? Cobblestone, get out of here. Yes, there's our achievement for diamonds. Okay, three. We could turn it into six easily. And diamonds are needed for the actual quarry recipe. So that is awesome. That is a great start. Okay, you know what? We're done. Let's get out of here. Not even going to chance it. Going to go back home, dump off these resources, 
and then we'll go from there. All right, well, we made it to the top. Unfortunately, it sounds like a storm broke out, so that's not very pleasant. Hopefully there's no mobs or monsters out, like skeletons and such, but who knows. Oh yeah, oh god, they're out. Those big green things, those things can wreck your house. At least if it's made of wood, it will wreck your house. I don't know if it can do cobblestone, I haven't had that problem yet. But here's hoping, uh, oh crap, it's, I've been seen. Oh crap. Oh crap, they're coming. Oh crap, they're coming. As you can see, that looks like they're throwing things. Ah crap, this ain't good, this ain't good, he's following me back. I gotta lose this guy. Where's- oh jeez, you, you seen it right there. Holy cow! That dude just took out the house. That dude's a beast! Well, there's the destructive power they can do. He drops obsidian, but man. Wow, sucks to be you, dude. He just took out your house. Oh, it don't matter. You're right near my house anyway, so it serves you right. Get out of here. This village is starting to get overpopulated, unfortunately. But yeah, I think it's time to go in. Things are getting a little hectic. Alright, so there we go. Dump our resources. We have a ton of them. Save some glass. I might have to make some more glass. There's some more lapis. We now have two stacks of it. Which is awesome. Of course, we have two stacks of this stuff now. Actually, three stacks of it. No, it's two stacks. And then, of course, we have our ores, which I will have to demonstrate in another video. I'm trying to keep all this sorted so it don't get all messy. There we go. I like to keep it some sort of order. I'm OCD like that. Wait a minute, I think there's an order button up here somewhere. Or you could just do that. Okay, well, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll just stick with that. Whatever. Yeah, it's fine. So anyway, we will call this a video. I will keep all my ores together, so that way when we come back next time for episode 3, we can use the macerator and tear some of that into dust. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you found it entertaining. Please give it up a thumbs up if you have. And uh, I will see you around next time. As always, have a wonderful day. And if you're not, then just fake it. Take care.